making this video because I looked on YouTube to see if there were an AVPA support group and I couldn't find anything. I'm hoping to contact people who actually have this and deal with this and all the stages that you go through. These are the mucus plugs that come up that are what used to be called plastic bronchitis, but I'm giving it a better term now, ABPA. I don't know if the rest of you experience this, but it's like glue, particles of glue. It's not glue, but it feels like rubber bands that come up out of your chest or out of your lungs. It's plugs, and you feel those mucus plugs, and you feel them, and you try to bring them up, and you can't bring them up. And <clears throat> My husband got me on the treadmill and I walked on the treadmill and he did some compression on my back to get them up and I was able to get a few up today as you saw on the cup. My nose ring is disappearing into my nose. There we go. Um, anyway, we uh, had some mold issues that occurred. Um, actually while I was at Mayo Clinic getting treated for ABPA, which I didn't know I had until I went. Gustav came through and flooded our home. Um, we have a surface flood which the home insurance doesn't cover. And we are pulling out sheetrock and pulling all the carpet up. And anyway, I have so many treatments I go through. I have the this, which is the mucus mist, and the pulmonary court, and the butyrol. It's just a, oh, you gotta love my doll. <laughs> but um, I find that a lot of this is very tedious. It used to be very routine, but I've been very unstable lately with the pain that you go through when you're coughing and coughing and coughing and coughing and coughing, and you're trying to get up plugs. And I was uh, actually quite suicidal last week because I was feeling like my husband really deserved a healthy wife and my son deserved a healthy mother and I was just a dead weight. Um, <coughs> since then, um, I'm taking 0.5 Ativan to try to get me over the uh, psychological aspect of feeling like I can't breathe. My worst fear is not being able to breathe. A lot of people have fears of spiders and snakes and heights. My fear is that I can't breathe, and I'm faced with that fear quite often. I have nightmares. And when I get to where I have a plug that's coming up and it won't come up, I can't breathe. I really freak out. So I believe it on the Ativan for two days, and it's 0.5 takes the edge off. I don't believe in taking prescription drugs other than the breathing treatments that I'm on. But I was very unstable last week. I've been online looking for support groups. I haven't found anything. Maybe one with Yahoo, but I haven't seen anything <laughs> that would be what I'm looking for right now. And that is people to, to share what they go through and how they cope with it. Um, I'm feeling a little better. I was very weak this morning. I was very weak, very, very weak. And um, I'm trying to maintain a raw food lifestyle, which lately I've been 100% raw because I, I have no appetite. None. Um, I, I know looking at this video, I am fat, I am obese, but. Um, a lot of it is swelling in my neck, especially, and that was in allowing myself to be vulnerable will pay off in the long run. That I'll actually communicate and connect with people who suffer from or who live with ABPA and um, find a ways to cope. Okay, um, thank you for listening.